think we'll continue to work hard because we want to play well for each other. So that's something that is definitely that's really good about this team. Nebraska has never been a bigger home underdog in program history. Ohio State is favored by 24 points. Nebraska is coming off a disappointing finish against Wisconsin. And remember, Nebraska got drilled 62-3 last year in Columbus. But the Huskers trying to stay in the present. Can't go back and fix anything from last year. It is what it is. Um, sucks the way that it happened that way. But uh, we got to focus on this week. Can't focus on last week either. Ohio State's defensive line is led by sophomore defensive end Nick Bosa, who leads the Big Ten with 10 tackles for loss. And as a team, the Buckeyes rank second in the nation with 57 TFLs, and they do it without blitzing a lot. They're able to uh, create some pressure without having to pressure too much. You know, bring extra guys, so that's always a concern in protection. Offensively for Ohio State, listen to this one. The Buckeyes have scored 50 or more points in 22 of 73 games in the Urban Meyer era. That's 30% of the time. The Buckeyes offense again led by J.T. Barrett, who earlier this season passed Drew Brees for first place on the Big Ten's all-time total touchdowns list. Guys had a lot of experience playing football, you know, and I think that it shows more and more all the time. For the second straight week, Nebraska's defense will have to contend in slowing down a true freshman star running back. This time around is J.K. Dobbins, who's rushed for already 669 yards, averaging more than seven and a half yards per carry. He's kind of a jump cut runner, and, and he can accelerate and get to full speed very, very quickly. Even though Nebraska gave up 466 yards against Wisconsin, the black shirts have the attention of Ohio State head coach Urban Meyer. It's a type of defense that you're going to have to work for everything. They're not, you're not going to have many shots downfield on the way they play. They're very uh, sound in what they do. They're very well coached.